Hello everyone! Welcome to this vlog of my recent trip to the States. For those that don't know, I live in Germany, but I'm from upstate New York, so I still have a lot of family there that I visit when I can. This was a two-week trip, and it is jam-packed with a lot of little adventures, so this may not be the most relaxing video, but hopefully entertaining for you to see what I got up to. My partner came along with me for the entire trip, and we started off by heading up to my grandparents' house on Lake George, which is my favorite place on the planet. By the way, I didn't show anyone's faces in this video apart from mine a little bit, just to respect their privacy, but this is the guest room that we stayed in. My grandparents' house has such a cozy Adirondack mountain vibe with all the furniture and decor. I love it so much. And this is the basement where my cousins and I used to hang out growing up. I always slept on the bed under the window there. It's kind of sad that we're all adults now, but it just feels like being back at summer camp here. It's so much fun. On the first morning, we woke up pretty early, around 5 a.m., so we decided to take a very dark walk down to the docks, but it was a little gloomy and cloudy on this day, so no sunrise this morning. But it was still nice to breathe in the fresh air and say hello to some little ducks in the water. A little bit later, we went to the village and got a coffee, just sat by the water, looking at all the boats and enjoying the scenery. Then we walked around some more, did some shopping. The village is pretty touristy in the summer months, but it does have some cute stores. And each time I visit the lake, I have to leave with a new sweatshirt to add to my collection. So here I am searching for the perfect one. I usually like pretty simple designs and it has to be cozy. That's most important. This is the one I went for. It says Adirondack Mountains on the front, and I like it because the design is stitched and it's super soft. Then for the rest of the day, we just kind of hung out and enjoyed some family time. The next morning, I was up early again. Um, my partner slept in, but I was still struggling to kick the jet lag a little bit and it looked like a nicer day, so I went to check the sunrise again, and it was beautiful. I think it was around 5.45 a.m. here, and it was just so peaceful to sit by the water and look at all the colors in the sky. Of course, the ducks have to make an appearance again. I stayed there for quite a while, until the sun came up over the mountains and it was such a perfect start to the day. Then I went and sat on the porch for a while, while everyone else was still sleeping. Did a little magazine tracing here. Adirondack life on the road. There were so many magazines laying around. It was Wednesday, August 9th on this day definitely vlogged more on some days than others, as you'll see throughout this video, but I was really enjoying this slow morning. Then I made myself a bowl of Cheerios with some banana, and my partner was actually feeling a little sick on this day, so I went for another walk around on my own and enjoyed the beautiful sunny weather. Skipping forward a little bit later, we were actually having a big family dinner and getting some family photos taken that night, so I was just getting myself ready, apparently fixing up my lashes. <laughs> and then one of the most magical moments of my life happened. I said yes! Oh my gosh, I am so happy, so excited. My guy is really my forever best friend, and this was the next morning. It feels so good to be fiancé. I'm over the moon. It meant so much to me that my family was there to celebrate with us. They were all in on the plan, and it was just 
so special and memorable. We had a few more days after that at the lake, just soaking up life and family and each other. I was really enjoying the hat life throughout this trip, as you can tell. <laughs> Enjoyed some driving around on a golf cart, fully embracing the summer season. <laughs> Did some kayaking on the water, which is always really nice. And enjoyed one of my grandma's homemade ice cream sandwiches here. Very delicious. On our last day at the lake that week, which was Friday, we visited a cute little farmer's market. My grandpa wanted us to try one of their melons, and I had to get some cider donuts. These are very nostalgic to me, and I haven't had one in a long time. They are so delicious. Then it was time to say goodbye to my grandparents and the lake. We had such an amazing time here, and it really meant a lot to me. I'm really glad that I could also share it with you, too. So, we got all packed up. And next, we headed to my dad's place, about an hour away in the Albany region. I didn't vlog too much on the Saturday because we had a big picnic party with lots of friends and a fire at night, which was a lot of fun. The next day, we visited the Empire State Plaza in Albany. There is the Egg Performing Arts Theater, and then we went to the New York State Museum, which I haven't been to in so many years. It was actually such a throwback for me. But I wanted to share a bit of my New York culture with my now fiancé, since he is German. So we just walked around, read about all the exhibits. I really liked looking at all the minerals here. The Mastodon skeleton was super cool. I remember that one. Then back at home, we ordered some takeout and watched Matilda, which was one of my favorite childhood movies. Then this is the next day. My dad has a boat, so we took it to Sakandaga Lake, which isn't too far from Lake George, but it has a sandy island that people like to anchor their boats at and just kind of chill on, which is super fun, especially on a nice day. So we did that for the afternoon. Had some fruit and things to make veggie wraps for lunch. My dad also brought peanut butter and fluff because he knows I used to love fluffernutter sandwiches as a kid. This trip was full of nostalgia and childhood memories. Then it was time to head out, enjoyed a nice boat ride back, and then later that evening we went for some late night mini golf, another classic summertime activity, although I got so many mosquito bites here. And then we had to stop at Stewart's for ice cream. My partner was amazed at the make your own Sunday concept with all the toppings here. I got mine with the chocolate peanut butter flavor, which is my favorite. The next day, we sadly said goodbye to my dad. It never gets easier to say goodbye. But we were heading off on another little adventure with my other grandma and my uncle to spend some more time with them and see some new sights. So we drove about three hours and visited Mystic Seaport, which is in Connecticut. And this was a really cool kind of open-air maritime museum by the water. We went inside some old ships, and again, it was super fun to experience some more kind of New England culture and stroll through the 19th century seaport village. The ships were really cool to see up close as well. And these flowers that we saw were also really pretty with all the different colors. I just wanted to show you that. Then this was the following day, we went to, I think it's pronounced Misquamigit State Beach, just to hang out. The weather wasn't super great, but it was still nice to smell the ocean air, relax a bit by the waves, and we were actually staying not too far from Foxwoods Resort, so 
we decided to eat at the Hard Rock Cafe and visit the casinos that night, which I didn't film, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> the following day, we made a little day trip to Newport, Rhode Island. Here is my uncle driving us around, and we really wanted to do the cliff walk there. If you ever visit Newport, I would really recommend it. It's about a three and a half mile walk all along the sea, so you get some really amazing views. Again, cloudy on this day, but it was pretty warm, so actually the lack of sun definitely made the walk more comfortable for us, that's for sure. And you can also get glimpses of the mansions there. Most are private behind, like, tall bushes and landscaping, but for the few that we could see, they were cool to look at. The walk was relatively easy, mostly on a paved path with some rockier areas where you just need to watch your step, but I would say it took us under two hours, and overall it was a really peaceful and fun experience. I would do it again. Then we caught a little trolley ride back and spent the afternoon walking around Newport. It's such a quaint little area with lots of cute shops and cafes, little things to see. After hanging out for a bit, we actually had a sailing trip ride planned for the evening that my grandma booked, which was really nice. And this was the boat here, the Madeline, and it was nice to get out in the harbor have a look at all the ships, although, again, very cloudy weather. Um, I think this is normally like a sunset experience, but that's okay. It was still really good, um, a nice way to end our day in Newport for sure. Then the next day we said goodbye to my grandma and uncle. They actually dropped us off in Hartford, Connecticut. This was the amazing view of the state capitol from our hotel room. We were here just for one night because it worked well with our travel schedule of needing to fly out of New York City that weekend. Um, we got a little Starbucks coffee, the brown sugar shaken espresso is very delicious, and just kind of walked around Bushnell Park for a bit. Then that night, it was Friday, we went to see a local baseball game. This was the first kind of activity that me and of my fiance, <laughs> so funny to call him that, um, just feels better than boyfriend now, but the first activity that we did on our own now without any of my family, so it was a cute little date night and fun for him to experience like an American baseball game, of course. The following morning, we were up early to catch a bus to New York City, however, it was cancelled, <laughs> so we took the train instead that's okay, these things happen. We only lost about an hour and a half of time. But finally, we made it to the city. We were staying in the downtown area, so we walked along the water, kind of reflected on our last couple of weeks of our trip. This was the view from our room with a cute little bathroom, nice and clean, pretty modern. And towards the evening, we went out again for a little walk, enjoyed the city streets, and decided to check out this bookstore. It had a lot of interesting books, and this one caught my eye, the philosophy of walking and enjoying the simple things in life, which I thought was sweet. Then we went to the Brooklyn Bridge area and had dinner at a place called Industry Kitchen. It was really fresh and delicious. Then we sat on the pier for a bit, still feeling just on cloud nine that we're engaged. This trip has been so special. And then on the way back to the hotel, we stopped for a little treat at Insomnia Cookies. The next day was in fact travel day. This trip felt both so long and so short all at once. I'm really grateful that we were able to do it and spend such amazing quality time with my family and together visiting where I grew up and so many wonderful places. Had to get a quick slice of pizza, of course, before heading to the airport. 
We took the subway there and before we knew it, we were at our gate and on the plane on our way back to Germany. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far, I am happy to be able to share little moments of my life with you and I'm so grateful for you all. I'll see you very soon in the next video.